got a fluffy coat, guys. <laughs> fluffy coat. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome, hello, happy new year. I hope you're doing okay. Today I'm filming a video that I was gonna film last year before I decided I was taking a break last year. So as you know, towards the end of last year, I kind of stopped uploading. I say the end, I literally stopped uploading in like June and then I posted a few things when offline, posted a few things when offline. Now I am doing a lot better, I'm a lot more stable and I feel good for once. So I thought I'd do this video now. Today's video is all about being a type 1 diabetic. <laughs> So as you know, in November last year, I got diagnosed as being type 1 diabetic. The month before, I got diagnosed with diabetes. So I am insulin dependent. I have to use insulin. I'm not very good at remembering to use insulin until I start to feel ill. But I've got, I have got. I started off in a really good routine where I was doing it how I was supposed to be doing it. And then I started a new medication. I started haloperidol. And my memory is just gone. And I just forget to take it. So, so I'm going to be answering, first of all, some questions that I got over on Instagram. Now, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can go over here. I, I upload quite a lot, I post on my stories quite a lot, and I'm always doing Q&As on that. And I also ask for questions for videos on there too. The first question is, how does it affect your mental health when you're already suffering from mental health problems? Honestly, it made me literally want to end everything, and I did nearly carry on, carry out, carry it out. It made my mental health so bad that I came very close to being sectioned because I was having really intrusive thoughts, I was hearing voices and it wasn't good. I had a lot of thoughts, I was like, I could just inject all my insulin and that'd be it. I've gone from being able to do what I want to do to I have to think about, well I have to remember to take insulin, I have to take insulin, I have to inject insulin every single day of my life. Let me tell you, that shit's not fun. You know, it's no game. I'm, I'm getting better at it now, but coming to terms with the fact that this is my life for the rest of my life was hard. It was really hard. And it still is. Like, I still think sometimes, like, oh my god, I'm literally going to be stuck like this for the rest of my life. What do you wish other people knew about it? That being a type 1 diabetic has got absolutely nothing to do with your weight, what you eat. It is very simply down to the fact that your pancreas does not produce insulin. If anybody would like to argue that, take it up with my, my pancreas. It doesn't work. How did others react to the diagnosis? My mom, I don't know, my mom was like, are you sure you can't just take meds? And I was like, I've tried meds, they made me ill. I think people don't, people have this stigma in their head that if you're diabetic, you're overweight. And I feel like that's what others thought of me. And I mean, yeah, weight doesn't matter, whatever, but it actually really does matter. And it really does fuck with how you feel like people think you're diabetic you can't have sugary things you're diabetic you can't do this you're diabetic you can't do that i can drink a can of coke if i want i can drink a can of vimto if i want i can have a chocolate bar if i want i just have to, to compensate it continuing on because you know life let's take that off well, not really, I need to a seat mm -hmm. and i'm glad i brushed the word so how did you find out? I found out that I was diabetic because I had a number of A&E admissions to an AA unit, which is ambulatory assessment unit. Um, my sugars were really high. I was dehydrated and no matter how, they gave me so many fluids and my body just, nope, dehydrated. Um, I had potassium, my potassium was low. Uh, my health just went completely out the window and I ended up in any multiple times and I got admitted to a ward multiple times and in the third instance they just they they did the antibody test and I got started on insulin and a few weeks later I got the results back from the antibody test which showed that I do have the antibodies which is how I found out I was type 1 diabetic. I was told when I got diagnosed that the chances were I was going to be type 1 and that is because of the damage that everyone knows I've caused to my body from overdosing from all the self-destructive things that I've done. My my, is, my liver is 
I mean, it doesn't work. So, given the amount of health issues I have, it wasn't really a surprise. It just, the bit that got me was the initial blood test I had done was related to my lump on my forehead that I'm still waiting on a scan on. I should probably chase that up actually. But I had bloods done and then the next day I got a phone call saying you need to go to this diabetic clinic. And I got diagnosed as being diabetic then. And it just, it happened overnight on a literal level. What's having to track sugars 24 7 like? What are some of the signs you're in, that are, you're low off or high for you? So I don't check my blood sugars as often as I should, which not the best thing to say. Um, when I check it, I, it's because I can tell that I'm high or low and for me the symptoms are the same. I get really hot, I have to lie down and I feel like I'm gonna pass out and I can never tell if it's because they're too high or because they're too low. But I do keep things in the R suit wall for hypos and for hyper episodes so that's an important thing to are people born with type 1 and go undiagnosed or does it develop over time so it can be both it can you can be born with it you can be born with a non-functioning pancreas or it can develop over time it is genetic and a lot of people in my family are diabetic however they are type 2 diabetic and i'm not how long did it take to be diagnosed so i wasn't even looking to get the diagnosis i wasn't i had no real symptoms of it and i didn't really think it was there and then literally overnight i got a phone call saying you need to go to this diabetic clinic and i was diagnosed diabetic shit my life just changed in a matter of a few words and that was that's hard the next question do the injections hurt yes they do i'm constantly bruised from it so it just hurts even more I, I've had two different types of needles, I'm trying a third. The first ones I had was okay, they were like flexy ones and they went in really easily. The ones I've got at the minute, you have to stab them really hard and it, it hurts. Okay, no way is injecting yourself ever not going to hurt. And is there a way to help it not hurt like with ice? I would never put ice on when I'm trying to inject. If anything, I'd probably put a heat pad around it so it heats up so it's easier to actually go in. But yes, it is painful, but unfortunately it is a necessary part of it, and... So, carb counting and insulin adjustment. I don't actually count carbs, because I'm type 1. It, it, it's hard, you can't manage type 1 through diet, really. You, you're always going to need insulin, and carbs are irrelevant, to be honest. Like, I had these diabetic sweets, and even after them, my sugar's go high anyway and insulin it, it, carbs don't matter with type 1 food doesn't matter with type 1 type 1 is a condition that you can never get rid of and there is nothing you can do about that you have to use insulin and you don't have a choice in the matter if you don't you probably end up dead type 2 is more managed by diet that's the big difference I don't have to work my insulin doses out. I see a diabetic specialist every few months and I've met this woman twice now and they just adjust the dose depending on how you're doing. So I was having a lot of lowers so they lowered my insulin and I've been okay on that. I haven't had any lows, I haven't had any highs. So that is the big thing. Another thing is not like, if I was having a binge eating episode, I would have to work out insulin. And because I also have Fortisip drinks, because I struggle with food, that's no secret, I have an eating disorder, hi. We all know that. Um, when I have a Fortisip drink, I have to have two clicks on my insulin pen. Which, let me see, I've got, I think I've got a pen. I know I've got a pen with me, I don't have one. I only have, I have two pens, I have a short acting one and a long acting one. So this is an insulin pan. This is my rapid release insulin. And how it works is this click round. So my standard dose four times a day is 12. So I click it round to 12 and I inject that. Whenever I have a four to step, it is two. So it's just two clicks. It's quite easy to do and these are the needles that you have with it. Um, I have an insulin pen. I don't have to like do syringes and all that. Thank God. An assumption. An assumption about diabetes. I asked for assumptions on Instagram as well. That it's a hard 
to ch accept and a life changing diagnosis 100% it hit out of nowhere and I had no idea it was coming I didn't think about it I didn't know it was there and to go from being able to like I'm just want to drink a bottle of coke to if I drink that I'm going to have to do that. Oh my god, I've got to remember to do insulin five times a day. It's... that That's hard to grasp. That's hard to... Like, that's hard to cope with. Um, I am going to end this video here. I think this has been a bit of an interesting q and A. I I hope this has given some facts about being type 1. And yeah, if you have any questions or anything you want to ask, feel free to in the comments. I'm pretty open to answering questions. I've... I've accepted it now I'm, I'm doing a lot better with it so ask away and don't worry about offending me because you won't i promise and yeah bye guys also if you want to support the channel i have an amazon wishlist a patreon and i have two other channels i'm going to be starting a pet channel soon as well so if you are interested in anything that i do it is all linked in the description as always and if you have any questions or video ideas let me know in the comments down below and when we'll be way down there Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, it's up to you.